everyone i hope you all are doing great and i hope your preparation for math kangaroo is going super duper amazing right don't forget to let me know in the comments below what all confusions you are having related to the math kangaroo examination i know the exams are approaching soon so you can share your thoughts in the comments below and in today's video we are going to discuss another question that came as a four marker for grades seven and eight so let's get started with our today's video and this question is go going to be really easy though i know if you will read the question it looks very confusing right and you will maybe apply the concept of congruency or maybe you will try to find out the area of shape a shape b right to figure out the answer but we will not do that I'm going to tell you a very cool method to solve this problem. Okay, so the question is, a square has a side length of 10 meters. So this is a square, if you will see, right? This is a square, which is having the side length of 10, right? That means even the bottom or the top or the sides, left or right, all four sides are 10 meters. It is divided into parts by three straight line segments. So you can see over here, it has been split into one, two, three, right? There are three line seg uh, segments and it has been split into multiple parts. Now, the area of two shaded triangles are A and B. Now they have already given us the area of the shaded parts that is A and B. What is the value of a minus b okay so let's look at this question more nicely and what we are going to do is we let's split it into two triangles okay two major triangles like this so this is going to be our first triangle and this is going to be our second triangle i am going to put c over here that is the area of this triangle okay c is going to be the area of white bottom white triangle now they have already provided us the area of shaded parts that is a and b and we are assuming an one more part over here that is c okay now if you will focus on this triangle which is yellow one right so the area of yellow triangle will be a plus c correct and the area of the red triangle, which is this part, is going to be B plus C, right? B plus C. Only this much B plus C, correct? Now, if we focus on the yellow triangle, the base is 10 and even the height is 10, right? Because it's a square. So all four sides are same. Bottom will be 10 and the even height will be 10. And we know to find out the area of A plus C, that is a triangle, it is going to be half times base times height. And we know base is 10, even height is 10, right? If we are going to look at another part, which is B plus C, it is also having base 10. And even if we are going to see the height, so the height is going to be again 10 correct we are not going to see this part or this side right because these are the slanting sides of the triangle height will always be the perpendicular from top to the bottom okay this is the height and we know this height is same as the side of the square which is again 10 10 meters okay so a plus b or B plus C. The both triangles are having same base and same height. That means the area A plus C is equivalent to the area B plus C. Correct? Or from here, we can cross out C and C. We can say the area of B is same as area of A. A is equals to C. Right? Now, if the area of both the shaded parts is same, can we say the difference of A and B 
will be 0. Right? A minus B is going to be 0. And let's take the example. Okay, A plus B, let's say it can be any number. Okay, we are just assuming, we are not solving anything. Assume A is 5 and B is also 5. Right? Now, A minus B will be 5 minus 5, that is 0. So, the difference between any two same numbers or areas or anything, it is going to be 0. Right? Because there is no difference only. They are exactly same. So, that means we got the answer. Option A is going to be the correct answer. What we did over here, we assumed there is the third path with the area C and we split it and we assumed two triangles with the area A plus C and the area B plus C, right? We know they both lies on the same base that is 10 meters and the height is also going to be same, 10 meters. So the area of both the triangles is going to be 10 meters and 10 meters, right? We equated it, we cancelled out C and we got A is equals to B or what we can say A is equals to B, A minus B is equals to 0. And from there, we got the answer, option A. Okay? I hope you got it. In case of any doubts, you can let me know in the comments below. And our WhatsApp community is uh, there to help you practice more questions with daily updates, exam resources, past papers, and many more things. So you can join our WhatsApp community. The link is in the description box below. Just click on it and join. I will be meeting you soon in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.